In today's video, we're going to be exploring some logo designs in the latest version of Midjourney, version 5.1, and I'm also going to show you how to convert your logo designs to vectors. All right, so we've got our Discord open. We're going to start off by going to our settings, and we're just going to make sure that we have selected version 5.1, which we have. So now we can go ahead and do our first prompt. So for our first prompt, we have a vector icon style logo design for a surfboard company in Hawaii featuring a surfboard and a wave. So we've got our first set of results here and they look really, really cool. Um, I really like these first two, even these first three really all could work. The fourth one is pretty cool, but it doesn't have a surfboard in there. Um, so these are all really usable results. So we're gonna move on to our next prompt and then we're gonna revisit these later and convert them into vectors. Okay, so for our second prompt, we are going to use a logo design for a Jeep Safari showing a Jeep driving in the desert. All right, so we've got our results for our second prompt and these look amazing. Um, the biggest thing that you'll notice the difference between previous versions of Mid Journey and this one, well, I think there's really two that stand out, is there's a little bit more of an artistic style that kind of comes with version 5.1, but you'll also notice there are way fewer errors. If you look at these, all four of these results at first glance look really good. The details look pretty perfect, honestly. In previous versions, you would notice that there would be maybe extra tires or extra doors, just some details that really didn't make as much sense. So you can see that's improved a lot. So, so I wanted to try something a little bit more specific and see how well Mid Journey picks up on the details. So for this one, I changed it to a logo design for a safari tour with a Land Rover Defender driving in the desert. So I wanted to try that specific vehicle model and see how it interprets that. Okay, so honestly this is really impressive because once again Mid Journey gave us exactly what we were looking for and it did a great job being specific to the model as well. So um, these results once again all look super super good. You could totally put these on a brochure on a website and they would definitely um, fit right where they are. So. Let's try a couple more prompts and then we're going to get into the vectorizing. So for our next prompt, we used a logo design for a local plant store showing hanging plants and succulents. Okay, so here's our results for that first prompt. Uh, they look pretty good. A few of these definitely could work. I don't know how much I like the dark background on these. Um, and the style of these is a little bit more maybe vintage, I guess. So I'm going to try to uh, change this prompt around a little bit and see if we can get um, a result a little closer to what I was looking for. All right, so here's our next prompt. Uh, I added clean minimalist logo design to the beginning and then I also added a white background to the end of it. So let's see how these results turn out. All right, so you can see we've got our results here. Um, these are just a lot cleaner and simpler. Um, depending on the style that you're going for, I think these are a really, really nice option. Um, just a little bit more modern and sophisticated. So. I think these are a great option. Now what we're gonna wanna do, um, because we're gonna turn these into vectors, let's go back through and we're gonna upscale our favorites. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upscale a few of these real quick and um, then we'll start turning them into vectors. All right, so once you've got your um, images upscaled, you're just gonna wanna click on it, and then you're just gonna right click on it, save image as, and put it in the folder that you wanna save it in. All right, so we've got all of our images saved, so now it's time for us to vectorize our images. So you're gonna wanna go to vectorizer.ai, and um, this is the tool that we're gonna use, and it's gonna convert this into a vector for us. So we'll just start with this first one here. We're gonna click open. And here we can zoom in and we can see the difference. So you see this here on the left is our um, image that we uploaded and our image on the right is the vector. So you can see how it's you know smooth on the right side and it's not gonna lose any quality as it is um, as you zoom in. So pretty impressive. Uh, there's a lot you can do with this tool and you can see we got a great result. You know, you can do that with all the images that you want to, and now you have your vector result. So we're just gonna go ahead and click download. And it'll give you a couple different options here. So it looks like they've actually um, added some more options since the last time I did this, but I'm just gonna leave it right here with all the default. 
and click download. And here's our SVG image. All right, so we've got our vector logos. Now uh, here's a way to do some little quick tweaking and make it into a full logo. So uh, I just decided to do it in Canva. So I upload my files here. I'm gonna select this first one, which I really like. Um, I'm just gonna center it on here. And this is just gonna be a real quick and easy design. So I'll go ahead and add a square to the background. Let's see. And then I'm gonna change the color to match the background. Make it full size and then position this in the back. All right, and then we can just go ahead and add some text. So we'll put this down here, try 85. We'll say Allen's Surf Shop. And then I found this pretty cool font here called Gagolin. I think that's how you say it. And then I'll just change the text color up here. Let's try this orange color up here. And that already looks pretty good. Um, and then we'll just add like a little subtitle. So we could say Honolulu, Hawaii. change this to about 40 slide that down a little and then just to make it interesting we can change the color of this and guys I'm not I'm not a logo designer so you know don't be too hard on my um, design here but you know this looks pretty reasonable and if if I saw this on a here we'll stretch this out a little bit but if I saw this on a website or on a business card, I would totally believe that this is a legit logo design that somebody paid a decent amount of money for. And we created it here in just a couple minutes. Um, so let's do one more. I'll show you guys uh, another idea that I have here. So we'll use this design here and same idea. Um, so here. Position this in the back. And then same same idea here. So we could just say desert adventure tours. All right, I like that font, so we'll use the same one. Uh, let's see what size it's gonna put us at 65, okay. And then once again, we can just change the color here. Let's see, we'll try, oh, that orange definitely didn't work. Let's try uh, this white up here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And once again, add a little subheading, change our font size, and we could say uh, Land Rover Tours since 2023. and find a, let's see, I could try this color here. And there you go, it looks pretty good. So um, I have, that's just a little quick tutorial of how to kind of turn it into a legit logo design. But I mean, if I, if I saw this somewhere, I would definitely believe it was the real deal. So AI is getting a lot better. You can make some awesome stuff with version 5.1. So definitely try it out. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to like it and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.